I'm so excited about what God has given me to speak into your life on this morning. So, you know, you, you need to know that it's going to be the text to talk and the takeaway, the text to talk and the takeaway. Low key, God is listening. Low key, God is listening. Here's the text. First Kings 19, 11 through 12. Listen, first Kings 19, 11 through 12. The wind came and shattered the rocks. God was not in the wind. After the wind, the earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, a fire came, but God was not in the fire. After the fire, a still quiet voice came. 13th verse says, and it called Elijah outside of the cave to hear God. Okay, here we go. Excited about this word. Look, here's the context of the text. Here is Elijah. He, he, has, um, he has been going through some things. He just came out of Mount Carmel. He's on Mount Carmel and called down the fire. You know, uh, Jezebel said that, hey, uh, he, her and uh, King Ahab, Ahab said, we're going to get you. He then goes and sits up under a broom tree. He gets depressed. Then he then travels uh, several miles, about 40 miles or so, trying to hear the voice of God for next steps in his life. Exciting. And he's trying to hear the voice of God for next steps in his life, finds himself in a cave after getting the food under the broom tree from the angel. When he's in the cave trying to hear God, wind comes, a wind so strong, it shadows rocks. God wasn't in that. Then after the wind came, the earth quaked. God wasn't in that. After the earthquake, the fire came. God wasn't in that. A still quiet voice. How do I hear? Really? Low key, God is listening. Hear this. Here's the talk about the text. The first thing I need you to grab is this. Elijah had to get tuned in. Elijah had to get tuned in. God wasn't on the wind frequency. God wasn't on the earthquake frequency. And God wasn't on the fire frequency. You got to get on the right frequency to hear God. What are you talking about, Bishop? You know what? There are always something going on <clears throat> in the airways. You got to tune in to the right channel to get what you are trying to look at or hear. You got to tune in. In other words, all of these busy frequencies going on, fear, worry, not knowing. You got to tune them out and tune in the right frequency to hear God. Here's the second thing. The second thing is this. Elijah had to get still to hear God. He had to get still. Uh, I love this. Psalm 46 and 10. You know it well. You've quoted it many times. Be still and know that I'm God. Hear the backdrop of that text. The backdrop of seven, Psalm 46 and 10 is this. It's at the third watch that the psalmist says, be still. The third watch is when they're on the city gates between 12 and 1, between 12 and 3 o'clock. I'm sorry, between 12 and 3 o'clock in the morning. Don't you know that is the time in which you are most fatigued and you're standing guard watching the city and he's saying, be still and know. I'm God with you right now. This is the time that we would be under attack more than any other time guarding the city. God said, be still. I'm with you right in this moment. Right in this moment. What's the third thing that you got to grab here? Elijah heard a what from God and not a why from God. In the 13th verse, oh my God. In the 13th verse, God says, Elijah, what are you doing here? 
What are you doing here? You know, then the bishop, well, now what's the big deal about a what and a why? A what is I'm about to give you what to do. A why is a defensive case. God doesn't put him on the defensive because he's trying to hear from him. You know what? Uh, 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 so often, so often, we we kind of get a little bothered and short with one another if we have to repeat ourselves. If I got to say it more than two or three times, it's like, open up your ears, man. Can't you hear? But the fact is that somebody might actually be struggling to hear you. I find that to be the case right now. I'm getting a little older, so my hearing is not as good as it was when I was 21. The fact is, is I have to ask people, hey, say that again. God, and, 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 and it becomes defensive. God says, look, I'm not trying to put you on the defensive because you're trying to hear me. So I tell you this. This is what you're going to do after this. Come out of the cave. Go to the next level with me. Not why you're here. What are you going to do because you're here? What's your takeaway this morning? Your takeaway is this. Listen for the voice and not the volume. God was speaking in a still, quiet voice. The Hebrew is a breath. A breath in the midst of all of that. Listen for the voice and not the volume. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. You know what I need you to do today? I need you to go to my YouTube channel, New Life Tube One, and subscribe and share the manna with one other person today. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow morning with more morning manna. Have a great day.